Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dan, the voice behind that Kaito Dan, and welcome to a very special Ruby breaking news update. So Rooster Teeth have just finished off their panel at this year's New York Comic Con, and they've shown off some information in regards to Ruby Volume 4 and more. So I thought it would be best if I share it with all of you guys. Uh, just a little mention, this is only stuff that is revealed publicly, so the stuff that there was shown only to the New York Comic Con lot, I won't be going over. And also, if you were there and you did record some of the stuff that was shown, do not, do not leak it out to the public. Save it for the next two weeks, okay guys? We haven't got it until two weeks time, and we can easily wait. We've waited this long at least, but just please... Because the guys themselves have mentioned it, don't leak it because sometimes you get really poor quality and you get a lot of misinformation. But anyway, let's actually get into the actual information. First off, regarding the manga. So the Ruby manga adaptation provided by Shiro Miwa is going to be officially translated by Viz Media. We heard about Viz Media working uh, in regards with Ruby uh, a couple of months ago, but it's nice to know what we are actually going to get from them. Um, they should be coming in around the point that uh, the manga is going into a new original story between Volume 1 and Volumes 2, but it's cool to see that we are starting again an official translation, and from Viz Media of all people, who were also going to be doing some more stuff in regards to Ruby, but that's being left uh, to be revealed later on, so be on the lookout for that. Now for some merch information, and this time regarding stuff at Hot Topic. First off, the 2.25 blind box figures have been revealed to have Team Ruby, Team Juniper, Sun, Neptune, and Zwei figures. And apparently the Sun, Neptune, and Zwei figures are going to be the rare sort. So if you want to get all of them, you're going to have to make sure that you get enough boxes. Also, the 4-inch vinyl figures, uh, strictly just Team Ruby, have also come out, and hopefully we should start to see more of this stuff coming into the RT store itself. Including some more stuff coming to Hot Topic as well, that will be revealed later on. Also, we've got collector cards, coming in January. Apparently, it's going to be about 114 cards that will have either quotes or screenshots from Volume 1, which is pretty cool. I hope, like... I can get some on my end and you can trade them and you can let, collect them and make sure you get the whole set. We also have confirmation again that the calendar is now available out there so be on the lookout for that. And in regards to merchandise release over in Japan right now, they are still trying to hopefully get some more of that on our side. And also in regards to Japan, Volume 3 will start for them in December 3rd and Volumes 2 is just about to start for them I believe. Now in regards to the video game Grim Eclipse, we've heard that the Horde mode will be a free edition, while the Team Juniper pack will be about $5 worth. Each member of Team Juniper will also have a unique trade apparently. Uh, Pyrrha will have an upgrade to a counter attack. Jean can buff the team. And also, Jean will have a ranged shield charge, since, you know, he is the guy who's sticking with a sword and shield. So it's cool to see what he has, and the rest of the team as well. Also, Grim Eclipse will be coming to PS4 and Xbox One in the winter, which will be helped by the guys over at Panic Button, which is called here. I don't have a very good computer system over on my end, so this will be the first time I'll be able to play the game actually, so I'm really looking forward to that. In terms of the first thing that was shown strictly for the New York Comic Con lot, it seems it was the Volume 4 opening. And in terms of the music, again provided by Jeff and Casey, it seems, at least in Kerry's mind, it's about where the cast are and where are they now, what are they up to. I cannot wait for that, and if we're going off what happened last time, I imagine the Volume 4 opening might get a single release uh, on YouTube some point before the Volume 4 uh, begins. Also, the opening has some new characters, apparently a lot of them. I'm not, again, going over them because I honestly don't know myself, but if you do know, don't spoil it as well. But it's exciting to hear that with the opening of this world that we're now starting to explore, we're still going to see so many new characters, and I cannot wait to see them. We also cut off the stream again for those only at um, New York Comic Con, and it seems that they got to see the first few moments of Episode 1, which includes a fight, and the episode itself will be 18 minutes long. So get strapped in, folks. It's going to be a long one to kick us off. Then we saw the first proper concept art for Ren and Nora's new designs. 
Ren has a longer green top and actually fans out towards his back with pink faded to black gloves and his coat goes all the way down to, well, his ankles with a red ribbon on the back which is interesting which also has some red ribbons coming off towards his sides. Uh, his trousers feed into some new boots that he has and of course he has longer hair which goes apparently all the way down to his backside. Uh, I'm sure Lady Stardust is going to love that. Uh, now switching over to Nora, still much of what we saw when I went over the designs from the character analysis trailer um, and the Volume 4 poster that I did in a previous video, um, but we got a little better look at uh, Nora's jacket, which has her emblem on the back, and in terms of her uh, original white top with the heart symbol in the center, it looks like it's been cut across the heart design. I don't know if that was Nora's intention or not, but it's an interesting detail to note. Um, but overall, I love these two new designs. It really shows a kind of growth to the characters, but in terms of Jean, we didn't get to see him. Apparently, they didn't want to show him off because of what he may look like. Um, of course, I went over what we saw of Jean in the Volume 4 poster in the uh, uh, character short analysis trailer video that I did, um, but it's interesting that they didn't show him off. Is that in regards to that red sash around his waist, or is there something else that was shown in the uh, little preview for New York Comic Con that we don't know yet? Obviously, we'll find out soon in Volume One's, uh, Volume Four's first episode, I mean. But it's interesting that they saved him off if it's anything more than just the sash. And also, in regards to the show, the World of Remnants will be returning. Now, previous times we've had different narrators. In Volume 2, we had what ended up being Salem's voice, Jan Taylor, doing the narrating. And then in Volume 3, we had uh, Ozpin doing the narrating. But this time, for Volume 4, with both of those two in certain situations, we've got Vic Mignogna returning as Crow. And that's pretty much everything, folks. Um, there is some more information in regards to the Japanese cast, but I'll save that for another video that, um, even though it wasn't mentioned at New York Comic Con, it's still something that I want to quickly go over. But that is everything from New York Comic Con. I'm really, really looking forward to Volume 4 if you haven't noticed by now, folks, but there is so much to look forward to. Not just in terms of the Volume 4, but also in terms of all the new merchandise and the manga and the video game. It's still amazing how big Ruby is right now, and I cannot, cannot wait to see what else is in the pipeline. Uh, what are your thoughts, though, on everything that was shown at New York Comic Con? Uh, is there anything that you would like to see in regards to the merchandise, the manga, the video game? What are you expecting to see out of the new opening or the new characters? What would you like to see in the world of remnants for this volume? Let me know in the comments down below, and follow me on Twitter at ThatKaitoDan to keep up to date on more Ruby news, uh, a video uploads from yours truly, and just anything else on my mind. That's all for now, and I'll see you all next time. Until then, have a good day or good night, and peace out.